By now, you've all heard about the breakup between Hyuna and Don. However, I didn't want to rush out a video because I had a feeling there would be those who were going to maliciously take advantage of the situation. And that's exactly what happened. I found out about this live during a watch along of Mama. We all opened up Hyuna's Instagram post simply announcing they've broken up and that they've decided to remain good friends and colleagues. Don also liked the post confirming the news and their mutual sentiments. I saw that people were immediately beginning to dig into to their past social media posts and broadcast moments together trying to figure out what happened and of course you have those who will take any opportunity to spread nonsense rumors people were actually posting as don himself making it look like he was exposing hyuna for lying and cheating on him this got to the point where don had to come out furiously debunking it calling them dirty pathetic cowards while threatening legal action he ended his statement with a lot of class saying that even though they've broken up hyuna is still precious to him and will continue to be his favorite artist. And as shocked and in disbelief as I was when I found out about their separation, I'm gonna respect their wishes and privacy and just leave it at that. Though we're nowhere near hearing the last of what's going on between Chu, Blockberry, and now the Luna members. Since the last video, we've had tons of people coming out to support Chu against Blockberry's claims of her abusive personality. A mass company that Chu is currently the model for came out saying their staff only have good memories with Chu. A snack company that she's not even associated with anymore came out saying they stand with her and even idols like Sunmi are blatantly showing their support publicly and because Chu was getting all this support Blockberry came out with another statement responding to skeptical people who were demanding evidence of their accusations saying that Chu needs to be the one that disproves it instead they then ended by basically pleading with people to not write malicious comments about their statements this is when things begin to escalate even more as reports started coming out saying that nine members, excluding Vivi and Hyunjin, have filed for an injunction to suspend their contracts. However, Blockberry quickly came out trying to debunk this as untrue and even just confirmed that they are planning a comeback right now. Although it doesn't look like Hyunjin cares one bit about getting in trouble, as this was her response regarding the apparent comeback plans. Meanwhile, more reports were coming out saying Chu has already signed with a new company that will officially be announced soon. At the same time, Hyunjin was mysteriously absent from her scheduled World Cup related broadcast activity after seemingly breaking the rules to voice her frustrations like we just alluded to. But Blockberry also commented on this saying her absence was due to scheduling conflict. Conflicts. The first and only time we've heard from Chu since being removed from Luna was from a post saying she was never contacted about this series of circumstances, but it's quite clear that she has not done anything to embarrass the fans. And it looks like the next time we'll hear from her is when she has decided what her next steps regarding all of this will be. Luckily, this is one of those weeks where the K-pop world has a lot more positive things to celebrate. We've highlighted artists that have done this all year long, and now Blackpink are the latest ones to literally stop their concert for the safety of the fans. During their second night in London, the girls noticed that the front section began getting too crammed and crowded. Jenny even said that during her solo performance, she saw someone getting pushed from behind. And to show how serious and concerned the girls were about the safety and well-being of their fans, they asked for the music to be turned off and made sure everyone had enough room before continuing on. Someone being really cool. They could breathe and I cannot go on like this. Can you turn off the light? Turn off the light. Can the we fast. please take a step back? Guys, you guys' safety is our number one thing to worry about. So, <laughs> okay. And make sure to keep some space for people in the front. Okay, promise? Blackpink's own well-being was a concern this week as Lisa informed fans in Barcelona about a slight injury, dealing with neck and muscle pain, which is why she wasn't able to do her normal pole dancing routine during her solo performance. But don't worry, after still putting on a show for the fans, she assured everyone that she'll be just fine. And maybe the biggest reason Blackpink were in the headlines this week was being officially named Time Magazine's 2022 Entertainer of the Year. Career milestones are bountiful this week as Tempest won their first ever career music 
show win with their song Dragon. CSR also achieved their first ever music show win only months after debut. Now, I know some are questioning the scoring that led up to this win. However, with limited information from Music Bank themselves, we'll have to wait and see if a further discussion is necessary. But on top of those, one of the most notable wins this week was from Yuna's Event Horizon, a song that came out in March that recently regained traction, climbed up the music charts, achieved a perfect all kill, and delivered her first music show win in 15 years. The last happening in 2007. You know what else happened in 2007? The debut of legends that we know of as Kara. They finally reunited at Mama. Disclaimer, anytime I talk about Mama, I can only use still images because otherwise CJ and will hunt me and all my ancestors down. They finally reunited at MAMA for their 15th anniversary. I love the shots of current and future generations jamming out to their performance. The best part is that it's not just a one night only reunion. They are doing a full-fledged comeback promotion, performing on music shows right now, going on variety shows, which also gave us the reunion of Kara and IU. Nowadays, IU is rightfully known as the idol's idol, but when she was just starting out, it was Kara who was one of her inspirations. That has come full circle as it was IU's concert that lit the spark for Ji Young to want to reunite on stage with Kara. Seeing IU and Nicole together also brought back a lot of memories with them on shows together. MCing with Hara back in the day. Through this whole reunion, the girls never forgot to include Hara, even in the music video itself with a special place set just for her. Now, speaking of Mama, because there are so many awards and so many award shows, I can't just list out every single winner. However, I do want to highlight some milestones from some of those wins. Like Idol Soyeon winning Best Songwriter while Minnie stood next to her with Tears of Pride was especially significant because she becomes only one of two females with IU to win this honor at the MMAs. I've not only achieved their first Daesung Award, but also Rookie of the Year, joining a very short list of names to do so, including only 21, Miss A, and Espa. It's really cool to see them stand on stage at this point in their careers, right before celebrating their first anniversary anniversary, especially after seeing this clip of Leader Yujin in the crowd as a fan holding an army bomb back in 2016. And BTS light sticks are still held high in the sky in 2022 as this was a huge week for BTS because on top of RM releasing his first solo album Indigo, BTS were also awarded the new Mama Platinum Award in honor for winning all four desangs at once. Their multiple desang wins extend all the way back to 2019. On top of his solo performance, J-Hope also gave us another historic moment by calling Jin during his speech before his military enlistment. And finally, everyone has been sharing their music rap list for 2022, and while I won't bore you with all my stats, I will highlight my top played song of the year which was Big Bang Still Life, who by the way also achieved a first ever milestone by becoming the first group in history to win an award at MAMA in three different decades, the 2000s, the 2010s, and the 2020s. So I just want to let Big Bang know that yes, after all this time, always. 